All right, for this Tuesday Tech Tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest way to grab a screenshot, um, at least what I have found to be the easiest way. Now, keeping in mind, I work on an HP, um, you know, a personal computer. Some of you work on Mac, so it will be uh, most likely a different process if you work with Mac or I, um, iPads or iPhone. Um, so this is what it would look like on an HP, okay? So what I do is I use this program called, it's called Snip, Snip and Sketch. I know that there is a free tool available to all um, users though. So just go in your search bar and type snipping tool or um, screenshot tool, something like that, and you will have an option similar to this. So I bring up my tool, I'm gonna to minimize it for a minute, and I'm just gonna pretend that, I'm actually gonna um, minimize this too. I'm just gonna pretend, oops, what am I doing? Why is it making it bigger? That's so weird. Oh goodness, let me, um, sorry about the distraction. Okay, I need to be able to see the entire graphic that I am going to screenshot inside of my screen. So that's what I'm trying to do is get it where, and there is a way to minimize and maximize your screen. As you can see here, it made the font go really small because it's on 33%. So I want to snip or screenshot this graphic here in my Canva because I want to take it and turn it into a book cover, ebook cover, or you might want to use your screenshot um, to add a few of them to a sales page or a landing page where you're gathering interest for a program. You might use the screenshot um, to add it to a social sharing graphic, you know, where you're showing them um, these little tiny visuals of what they are going to get in your freebie or in your paid program. So lots of reasons you would use a screenshot. So this is very basic, I know, but I'm going to start with the basics in this series and then we'll get more complex. Um, but I know after working online all these years that for me personally and people I've worked with, something this basic, I didn't know how to do it. I had to do, I had to go watch all these tutorials. So I wanted to make a super quick tutorial for you on how I do it. So again, I pull up my snip and sketch. It's as simple as saying new snip. And then you'll notice, um, give it a few seconds and it will give me this little drawing tool for me to draw over the amount of content that I want to snip. Now for this one, I wanna use it to advertise this ebook. So I'm just drawing really around, you know, tightly to the graphic. But let's go back and do this. Um, let me actually say new, what is this one? Nope. There's lots of things you can do on this tool. There it is. Let me actually go back and say new. I don't want to save this one. I just wanted to show you how to do that. Let's say that I am creating a blog post for you where I'm showing you how to do this process with screenshots inside the blog post which by the way, you could do that as well for your clients and your readers. So now, oops, it failed to open. Let me, I'm not sure why. Um, let me say new again. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but let's pretend that this is part of that demo. I'm actually gonna grab a whole lot more of the page so that, see, so that I have this instructional graphic here. So these are going to be snipped as a um, PNG, I believe, or JPEG, um, because it needs to be in like a photo file. So it is going to be snipped as a photo file. And then if you need it to be a different kind of file, you'd have to turn it into that. But I'm going to go ahead and save it as. There's a, also, you can write on it. I just want to show you these those little features up there. So I would just call it what I need to call it. It's gonna be screenshot for tutorial one, because I'm gonna take several screenshots, let's say, okay? So let me just save that. You're gonna save it either to your hard drive or to your Dropbox or just wherever you save your content. 
but I want to show you these features. So you can actually use touch writing, which is me using this to write. Oops. Nope. That didn't work. Yeah, it did. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me go back. You can use this red pen. So you could say here. My writing is horrible. Um, you know, like, let's say that you're trying to give an uh, instructional on the picture. So even though my writing on it is horrible, of course, take your time and make it really neat. I just wanted to show you how easy it would be to do to use these features. Um, let's see here, the highlighter. So you can take the highlighter and go, mm, 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 mm. let me see what happens. Why is it not working? See how it's highlighting in yellow? So let's say this is black font that you wanted to highlight just a specific part. You can do that. So lots of different cool things that you can do to use this as an instructional. If you're putting together, you know, um, a meal planning guide or a Get Healthy 101 guide or Healthy Eating 101, whatever it is you're putting together, you can see how this taking screenshots and then using this these tools to put on it what you want to put on it or just using it just like this and inserting it into your content is going to be so helpful. So what I just showed you is the extent of this tutorial, believe it or not. Um, you can take just this graphic or you can take the whole page as a screenshot. The more you minimize your page here on your main file that you're taking a screenshot of, the, the smaller you make this, which um, let me actually make this bigger so that I can show you how to do it. So here, not here, sorry. I keep doing it in the wrong spot. Let me see where it is. Where is it? I wanted to be able to show this to you quickly. Um, I'm trying to figure out where it is, but the smaller you make this, the less readable that content will be as a screenshot. So I just want to let you know if you're afraid of people cheating and stealing from any screenshots that you're going to use in your advertising, which I know some people are nervous about that, just make this really small and then they can't steal it. So let's say this is a top 10 list or you screenshot this, this list right here. Obviously, you don't want people to be able to read it because you want them to opt in or buy or whatever it is you're doing with it in order for them to be able to read it, access it, right? So you would keep this really small as a screenshot and that keeps people from being able to read it. And I'm still trying to figure out how to show you how to do that. I know there's a way to do it. Um, you can also resize it in an editor outside of this and it's not resize. I know we're looking at resize, but that's not the answer. I'm sorry that I can't show you this little hack, but up here I used it to. Now, why is it doing that? There we go. So here we minimized it more. So here you made it smaller. They can't read this, but yet they can see that they're going to want to. They're going to want access to this sheet. And that's really the idea of these screenshots. You're either using them as additional information or as an attempting, you know, hey, you know you want this. So either opt in with your email or purchase it. Um, you want to use it for those purposes. So I either as a resource and tool within things or as an advertisement marketing tool. I hope this has been helpful to you. Of course, I'm showing you um, how to do this from an HP. So I apologize to those of you with a Mac. I wouldn't know how to do a tech for you. I'm sorry, how to do a tech tutorial for you. But I think the idea is the same, that you find your free tool for screenshots or snipping, as, as a lot of computers call it. And then wherever it is you're trying to grab that screenshot, you go in and grab that. I've even used the screenshot tool to um, grab receipts for people or a little copy of the invoice I sent them or a correction if they're misreading something somewhere, I'll point it out on a screenshot and be like, see here, this is what happened. And that's why we're misunderstanding. So um, uh, lots of different ways to use this tool, but I hope this was a helpful quick tutorial for you to get started. If you have any questions or have any other topics that you want a tutorial on, 
just give me a holler. Bess at freshstartforhealth.org is my email, or you can find me on Facebook. Um, I would love to create tutorials for topics that you directly need help with right now. And I just need to hear from you and know what it is you need. So you can find me at christianhealthcoachcommunity.com here on Facebook or um, by emailing me at bess at freshstartforhealth.org.